Lots of fun this morning. Now, imagine looking after the children of royalty, presidents, and even the world's biggest movie stars. Yeah, well, it's actually the day job of our next guest, Philippa Christian, and she joins us now live from Melbourne for a look into the very private lives of the rich and famous. Philippa, thank you for your time this morning. Thanks very much for having me, Deb and Wendy. Yeah, you actually got your start in the business through Shane Warne. Mm. Tell us a little bit about that. Spill the beans. Please do. I did. Um, I actually grew up in the same suburb, so it just sort of happened by chance that um, I was working every weekend and I ended up meeting Shane and his children one weekend and he asked me to start working for him and I had such a wonderful time working for him that it made me want to go on and continue to work for these kinds of people. Um, and, you know, I've always said that, I've, I've always thought to myself that Shane's a fantastic cricketer, but he's an even better dad. Oh, that's nice wonderful. That's good to know. And you've obviously done a great job of it because since then you've worked for royalty, for movie stars. I imagine the paparazzi and doing battle with them would be quite a challenge. Sorry, doing battle with them, did you say? The, yeah, the paparazzi. How do you manage it? Yes, um, it can be quite a tricky thing to have to deal with on a daily basis um, because... They can be very distracting, that's for sure. Um, they'll find out all sorts of things about you and you'll scream out your best friend's name, all sorts of things, and you've got to try and pretend that you're not listening to it or that you're not surprised by it and, and not give in to it, really. Um, so it's, it's an ongoing thing. I've always had to work as also a decoy for a lot of my bosses in the past. So I had to sort of put their sunglasses on and get into their car and drive straight for 10 minutes until the paparazzi... Um, have finished following me and so that they can quickly leave their home and then I just turn around and go back home. Wow. Um, there's other times when um, I've had to push around a, a, a mannequin, a custom-made mannequin of a baby that I care for, um, just to deter, to, to deter these people. And, um, you know, in my book I talk about how one night um, I went out for dinner with one of my bosses and it was during a really tough time. Um, he was in the media for a lot of things that weren't very nice at the time and we were in New York City and he went to dinner with a bed sheet over his head. So people were looking at him laughing, thinking I was having dinner with a ghost or something. But <laughs> it was actually um, someone that no one knew who it was behind that sheet. Wow. You, who, who are some of the celebrities you, you've worked with? And, and how active exactly are they in their kids' lives? I mean, are they there for the milestones? Are they away working on movies? I mean, are they missing things? Well, I think that um, I've been absolutely blessed to really have only worked for people that I've really loved. And I can honestly say that the families that I've worked for have just been absolutely lovely. Um, and these people, a lot of people sort of had the idea that, <clears throat> excuse me, um, that these people don't spend a lot of time with their children. And it's not the case at all. These, all of these families love their children very much and they will take them anywhere that they do. So we do end up traveling a lot. And, and when, the, when they are apart, we'll Skype and we'll do everything we can to make sure that they, that they talk every day and they see their parents every day. And I've, I do know that one sort of fact that you've got in the book is that you actually bathed some of the children of, of one of the clients you worked for up to three times a day. What was that about? Um, this is, it does sound a bit crazy, but, um, you know, along, through the years I've had to work for people, um, children in royalty, um, children who's, at one stage I worked for one of the, the sixth richest men in the world. And it's, it's very much so a cultural thing. Um, so... It sounds like I spend my whole day bathing children, which I don't. Um, these, these homes have big marble baths in them, and all of the children get into these baths at the same time and then hop into the shower afterwards, so they have a sort of a pre-soak. And, um, yeah, it's, it's, it is very interesting, but you do learn a lot along the way. It's, it's also the same with how, um, you know, the higher up in these countries you are with, this, with status, children won't tie their own shoelaces. You'll have to sort of hold the tissue against their nose for them to blow their nose. Wow. Um, they don't do a lot, so it, it, it is very, it has been a very interesting job, that's for sure. What an amazing life you lead, and good to see you keeping the confidentiality agreements. You're not giving much away. I, know, like I like who, it. Who exactly? Yeah. <laughs> what exactly? Good on you, Philip, but thank you so much.